aspect of our kids' development, it all starts with play. So cognitive skills, their motor skills, so being able to pick up things, work things, turn knobs, pull strings, their speech skills, their language skills, social skills. It's all there in their play. All of those different skills are being worked on just by them playing with toys or doing little activities that may seem very simple, but actually there's a huge amount going on there that we're not even overly aware of. So play is life. So I mentioned about different types of play. So when I'm talking about different types of play, it's about keeping it varied and keeping it interesting for kids so they have lots of different opportunities to learn language, to learn new skills, be that motor skills, social skills. So different types of play include exploratory play. So sand, water, play-doh, that kind of thing. Um, rough and tumble or physical play where kids do things like yeah, climbing, hide and seek. Then we have constructive play, so brick, scissors, cutting, that kind of thing. Then large doll play, so for example, teddies and dolls and buggies and playing house, that kind of thing. And then harder again or more advanced will be small world play, so like cars, garages, little dolls, farms, that kind of thing. And then the more advanced again is pretend play, so that's what we see in preschoolers where they like to dress up and take on different personas and different characters. So there's a huge variety in play and it's all about having a little bit of every talk there about a variety of play and all of the different different types of play that we can get into with kids. But I suppose the thing to highlight really is that in terms of toys, the very best thing that a child can play with is you. So having a playroom full of toys doesn't actually equate to really good playtime. Being a speech and language therapist, by the time parents get to see me, they're usually concerned about their kids' speech or language skills. And when I'm highlighting the importance of play, I feel sometimes they just maybe don't necessarily understand the significance of it in terms of supporting language development because they are quite focused on the difficulty the child is having at that stage. So it doesn't have to be all flashcards and, you know, specific toys or things that are going to support a child's language. It's the simple things like getting down to their level, narrating their play and supporting them by incorporating fun ideas or introducing new words or vocabulary that your child maybe hasn't heard before. That's where you come into it. You have so much to give and never underestimate the power that we have as parents in terms of supporting our children's learning. So, five ways to make the most out of playtime with your child. The first one may seem very obvious. Switch off. Turn off the TV. Put down your phone. Turn off the radio. Just have this special one-on-one -on -one time where you are giving your child your full attention. Number two is getting face-to-face. -face. So it just means that you have nice eye contact, that they can see what you're looking at, you can see what they're looking at. So getting right down to their level to show that you're fully engaged and interested in what they're chatting about, what they're showing you. On nicely to number three, which is follow their lead. So basically let your child take the reins. Let them come up with the idea. Let them show you the way that they're playing the game. Remember, Take off your adult hat, think like a child. Sometimes the right way isn't the most fun way. Number four then is repeat, repeat, repeat. So if you're introducing new ideas and concepts, repeat it loads of times throughout the game so that your child gets loads of opportunities to hear it and then they have more chance of actually understanding it and being able to use it themselves. And finally, number five is the running commentary of life. So that's basically just narrating what you're doing as you're doing. So if you're playing with a racetrack, you're saying, oh, wow, the cars are going around. They're racing. Narrating what you're doing so your child has lots of opportunity for what's going on. And that's just the thing about play. Kids don't know that they're being exposed to new vocabulary or learning new things. They are just completely engrossed in play. So you have huge opportunity to impart loads of knowledge or new words onto them without them even knowing.